Producing for Living St. Louis is like a form of continuing education for me because I'm always learning something new about the people, the places, the culture of this region. I was just a young pup when we started Living St. Louis in 2004 and I'm looking forward to starting our 20th season of this great show and it's just been an honor to be a part of it this whole time. Just in the short amount of time that I've worked on the program, I've learned more about our town than the decade that I've lived in St. Louis. Everything from the skill gaps in the workforce to what the heck is a pawpaw fruit to, you know, Holocaust survivors, there's everything. I am a charter member of the Living St. Louis crew. Started right at the beginning in show number one continuing all the way through the 19th season, moving into the 20th season. So many times I drive by something a hundred times and then I finally look at it and I realize it's a story. I want to find out something about that. I think one of my favorite opportunities was to climb the Union Station clock tower, the water tank. There's a clock, of course, a very rickety staircase, but at the top, well, nothing to see. But this is really as good as we could get this little corner where the plastic had torn away. After eight years of producing for Living St. Louis, I can say that the best part was getting to experience my hometown from the inside out. Whether it was profiling people who quietly do amazing things for their community, shining a light on the hidden places that make this city so unique, or ensuring that important parts of our history don't go untold. One of the things I hear a lot is how interesting Living St. Louis makes St. Louis look. And my answer is, it really is that interesting. Everyone has a story to tell, and it's always something different that you never knew existed, but is vital to making up the heart of our community.